All right. Hi, Duncan. This is Cousin Ken here at the studio in Seattle. And, uh, God, this is a uh, hard thing to do, but uh, I just wanted to uh, say a few words to you, my friend, and start by thanking you for being such a great friend to Derek and I over the years. Uh, we've always enjoyed your spirit, humor, uh, openness, and of course the great stories which you're so willing to share with us. Stories of the family past, present, and future. Uh, you help you help me feel the importance of being a Fordyce and will cherish my kilts and wear them proudly well into the future. I thank you very much for that. Um, you've always been very kind and thoughtful at Christmas and we will treasure your outstanding presence forever. Uh, it's been a great connection that we've had, we've had in recent years. And for that, we are sincerely grateful. Thank you. Um, of course, I was very sad to hear about this most recent bump in the road and uh, very um, broken hearted to hear that it's become a real obstacle and uh, just to let you know we were following the news step by step uh, and have Alexandra, Mary and Kyle to thank for keeping us informed and we absolutely appreciate knowing how uh, things have been going step by step. And uh, I'll uh, never forget our last conversation. I just thought it was so hysterical. Uh, I also have uh, the voicemail that you left, and it's still on my uh, phone. So I'm gonna I'm gonna tape that, get it off my phone, and. Uh, Play it once in a while because there's a lot of spirit uh, and life and humor in all of your voicemails, Duncan. <laughs> so um, I'll never forget that. I'll never forget that. And thank you uh, so much. Um, I know it's meant an awful lot to Derek to have you in his life. And that's meant a lot to me, too. So. Thank you again. Uh, I wish you safe passage, my friend. And we offer a little song to carry you along. And in conclusion, here's to us, twas like us, Damnian. Sayonara. We love you, Duncan. <laughs>
Hi, Duncan. This is Derek. You might know me as Ken's son, and also the bassist that was playing in the previous video. Boy, that was a very, very good piece, if I do say so myself. I've been wanting to play that for a very, very long time, and I believe that you are the first one in the family to hear it. It's, um, it's, it's a very, very fun piece. Uh, it's called Norma's Girl by Jimmy Johnson and Steve Gadd. I'm really glad they were able to get this to you. But when we were when we heard the news, we didn't know how to really react, or I didn't know how to react. I've never had the opportunity to actually make a message like this, and I'm not entirely sure if I will even have that opportunity again. So this is a little bit of an experience on me. Um, here I am just talking through a microphone, but I, I don't know what to say. I'm... I'm still shocked, and, I, and I'm really upset to hear that you will be passing. Uh, inevitable that all humans will pass in due time, but hearing that from, or that a family member would be doing that is, well, it, it's, it's really shocking. I understand that you're in a coma, but I don't know if you are able to hear this or even see it. Um... I really, I, again, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm, I just, I'm, I'm really upset that I wasn't even able to meet you completely. I understand that I, I met you when I was really, really young, but I don't remember this. I believe my, my, my father and my, and the rest of my family, but I want, I wanted to have a proper conversation with you, um, that I wanted to know you, just like how uh, the rest of the family did. I I wish you well. Um, I'm out of words here. Uh, good luck, Duncan. Uh, knock him dead. <laughs>